Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to Stranded on Purpose channel. Uh, I apologize, it's been a while. Actually, it's been a long time since the last time I uploaded my video. Uh, I haven't had a time to edit my uh, footage. And it's because I have a new digital my hatch. Tacho! Hello, my name is Hikari. I'm a girl. I just born earlier this year. Nice to meet you. Okay, let's dive into the video. Okay, so yesterday the Phoebe Arena has dropped into the Apple Store and Android Play Store. Also, I streamed the unboxing of the 25th Anniversary Vital Bracelet BE, but for the love of god I can't seem to access it and make it on private. Anyway, in this video we'll talk a bit about the difference between the old VB Lab and the Arena app. We had fun with the old app, obviously, and Unfortunately, as it stated in the announcement, they will be ceased to exist by March next year. Obviously, the Arena app is here to replace the Phoebe Lab. First, let's talk about the design. The Arena was, uh, I'm sorry, the Arena has a brighter and refreshing design with white and green theme. But I always feel that the Phoebe Lab has an elegant vibe because of its darker color theme. For your information, the Phoebe Lab was outsourced to Carriot while the Arena is being handled directly by Bandai Namco. The Arena has a new background music, but then again I prefer the original soundtrack any day. I assume we won't be getting any kind of red features like the old Phoebe Lab, because you know it's named Arena, but let's keep our hopes up. When you fire it up for the first time, you will need to confirm your birthday, your region, read and accept the terms of uh, terms and condition. Then you need to select the device. I have done it earlier though, so there we, we skipped all those process. Now, there are three devices so far, and it is interesting to see that they actually differentiate Vital Hero and Vital Bracelet. I thought it's the same thing, will they? I don't have a vital hero though, so I cannot say anything about it. For now, let's start with choosing the Phoebe series. Once you select your device, you need to select the characters. I will choose the digital monster and then press OK. You don't have to worry, you can change it anytime later. So this is the home screen, first there is a pop-up notification. Generally, I don't really like the overall design, but to be honest, the font is easy to my eyes. But the old home screen is still much better for me. And this one is a hero, so. Next, in the Arena Lab, the Digimon moves feels like it being fast forwarded. You can see that. Uh, the Gallonmon punching up so fast it's weird. However, it's more informative in a way compared to the old Phoebe Lab. You can see the Digimon stats, uh, their HP, AP, and BP. And also they ha you can see the, uh, their ability from the screen. However, mine doesn't have any. Uh, we will need to train our Digimon to get the ability which I will talk later in more details. Uh, if you press this eye icon, it will show you the face info. You can change your in-game name by pressing this pencil button on the top right of the screen. And only 14 characters available. And the old one you need to go to this and then like that so in this home screen menu I hope they will bring the graph style from the Phoebe lab and make it more informative instead of just showing vital points and uh, dates this one in the old app 
I hope they bring the graph style from the Phoebe lab and make it informative instead of just showing viable points just like in the old one and also probably adding the digivolution tree will also be a nice addition now let's check the menus on the arena on the bottom of the screen you will see a four main tab uh, from the left to the right as device selection gift box item box and settings the device selection allows you to change device and characters just like you did the first time I have no gifts nor items yet so we'll just jump right to the setting inside the settings it's uh, the usual thing almost the same as the old VB lab app so there's notice sound and language you can only change the language between uh, Japanese or English and of course there's the inquiries where you can uh, send suggestion to Bandai or uh, report something if you press manage data here it only shows delete icon unlike this one this is a Bandai Namco ID so I thought we can just transfer our data from the Phoebe lab but unfortunately we still cannot um, so we have to transfer our Digimon one by one manually and uh, last three icons are pretty self-explanatory next is Digimon transfer in the old app you will have to choose the scan icon and they will give you two options to transfer the Digimon from or to the VB lab but in the arena to send your Digimon from Vital Bracelet to your app, you have to use Send. Here, there's a short introduction here, uh, manual how to transfer your Digimon from the device to the app. However, to send your Digimon from the Arena app to the BE or Phoebe, you need to use the Assign buttons. The assign icons let you set the team formation of your Digimon for team battle. To change the formation, press the Digimon's name like this and then change it to whichever Digimon you want. There. When you press and hold the Digimon, it will show you items icon, send and delete. If your Digimon is in the formation, the send and delete button is grayed out. There is no OK button in the screen so you have to force back and press OK. Next, Bandai provide us with online ranking for this arena app and as you can see there's still a typo there. Ch check. It's supposed to be check and if you press ok it will take you to a website showing in preparation which means the ranking is not ready yet the best thing about this arena app is actually the battle and the digimon growth mechanics uh, we'll talk more in details in the next video but the annoying thing is that the transfer process is very troublesome we all have our Digimon standby in the VB lab, in the storage, in the cryo chamber. And we have to transfer it one by one to the Arena app. First, you need to transfer your Digimon from VB lab to your VB or Digivice V. And then you have to select the Vital Bracelet series in order to transfer this to your Arena app. It takes a long time. And the annoying thing is actually related to the codex or the Digi database. For example, this. Okay, codex. In the codex, you will find your Digimon data, right? In the arena, I only have Gilmon. The problem is the codex from VB and BE are separated. That means you need to do it all over again if you want to complete your Digi database. Inside the codex, they deleted the info of how many Digimon of this species that you have been training. 
and uh, when was the first time you discovered it so it is very unfortunate because uh, for me the date record is a have a nostalgic feeling and I hope they will fix this by adding account synchronization to the arena app uh, if you try to transfer the Digimon that's been raised in the Phoebe to BE it will said that there uh, you are choosing a wrong toy so you cannot transfer that Digimon to another device now let's demonstrate the Digimon transfer Before we end this video, do not forget to max your Digimon Vital Points in the Phoebe Lab before transfer it to the arena. The item's going to be gone anyway. That's all for this video, I'll talk about the battle in the next video. Thanks guys, see you!